so hello everyone so welcome you all to this last video uh, of this series where we are covering with the model paper solutions of all the five modules of the first subject of fifth sem ece branch that is a technological innovation and management entrepreneurship okay so in our previous videos we have covered with four modules model paper solutions so the, those who have not watched it please go and watch it it is available in our channel so now let us discuss with module 5 solutions uh, where we are left with only two questions 9a 9b 10a 10b okay so without wasting much time let us discuss it again those who have not watched it go and watch it is it is available in our channel so without wasting much time let us continue with the first question of this session that is uh, of 9a of model paper explain government schemes for funding businesses okay there are some of the government schemes for funding businesses uh, in our uh, uh, present market now so that you should be know, having a knowledge about first is mudra loan okay mudra stands for micro units development and uh, reference agency okay the full form of mudra mudra loans are uh, aimed at supporting micro and small businesses by providing financial assistance for their growth and development this scheme offers three categories of loans first is shishu loan okay under mudra we have three categories of loan the shishu loan undergoes loans up to 50000 for startups or businesses in their early stages okay this in the early stages they give the loan up to 50000 next is kishore loan loans between 50000 to 5 lakhs for growing businesses is provided under this category next is tarun loan loans ranging from 5 lakh to 10 lakh for established businesses looking to expand okay for them uh, uh, in order to expand their business this kind of loans are provided by the mudra loans okay so this loan uh, mudra loan is very important and it is trending nowadays in the uh, uh, se se technology sector okay next is msme business loans okay the msme stands for micro small and medium enterprises this sector is vital for indian economy and the government has introduced various schemes to provide loans and financial support to this msmes credit guarantee fund scheme okay this is one scheme under this msme uh, that is uh, this scheme provides uh, credit guarantees to financial institutions for loans given to msmes it helps these uh, to access funds without collateral and uh, encourages banks to lend uh, to smaller businesses so msme financing scheme so this under this scheme you can see that uh, this scheme offers uh, low interest loans and flexible repayment terms for uh, msmes to help them uh, acquire working capital purchasing machinery or improve the infrastructure okay so prime minister's employment generation uh, program pm uh, egp that is uh, this scheme provides uh, financial assistance to msmes to generate employment in rural and urban areas okay next we have stand up india scheme uh, under this scheme uh, it aims to facilitate bank loans between 10 lakh to 1 crore for setting up green field that is for setting up new businesses okay it targets women entrepreneurs scheduled caste scheduled tribe entrepreneurs the scheme encourages entrepreneurs in manufacturing services and trading sectors okay next is startup india scheme it is launched to promote innovation and entrepreneurship to to give a new uh, direction to towards innovation this scheme is produced that is startup india scheme the startup india scheme provides uh, several funding opportunities including uh, tax exemptions or income for the first 3 years of operation okay next we have uh, atal innovation mission again this is this uh, is uh, uh, going for, through a long time now this uh, uh, aim mission aim aims to promote culture of innovation and entrepreneurship in india the scheme provides financial support to startups and msmes involved in innovation research and development next is uh, one somewhere we are having national credit guarantee trust company ncgtc SME loan scheme, okay. Then we have Pradhan Mantri Rozgar uh, Protsan Yojana, okay. These schemes are there. You can uh, note it down, okay. Next question: Explain the steps in PERT. Explain the advantages and limitations of PER, okay. First, let us see the advantages and limitations of PERT. There are some of the advantages here. That is, it uh, handles uncertainty, uh, identifies critical activities. improves communication and some of the limitations are subjective time estimates uh, complex for large products and it does not consider resource constraints okay so uh, steps involved in pert uh, this answer is not uh, available here it is available in my video where i have covered uh, important questions right of module 5 in that uh, 
these steps in PERT is mentioned. Okay, so you can refer that video as well. In that uh, steps is uh, provided. So yeah, only advantages or limitations are there here. You can note it down. Next question 10A. What are the biggest challenges entrepreneurs face when they start their own business? Okay. So they face a lot of challenges, right? Entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs, when they start their own business, that is the uh, in order to uh, settle in the environment, uh, some of the challenges we they need to work. Okay, what and all are that challenges? Let us see now. Again, uh, right here, six to seven points. There are uh, around. Uh, if you go on listing the challenges, there are many, many challenges. Okay, if whatever comes to your mind, which is uh, valid, you can write it. Okay, and try to explain it, explain that challenge in two to three points, so that you would, your answer would be in a correct manner. Okay. All these questions will be appearing for 10 marks. Okay. Developing a vision and business idea. That's the main challenge. Assembling a business team. Again, that's a huge challenge of assembling a business team. Raising capital. Finding the right business location. Finding and managing employees. Finding and managing customers. Dealing with competition. Unforeseen challenges and for expenses. Keeping up uh, industry changes and trends. Exiting the business, marketing, sales, uh, legal and regulatory compliance. These are all of the many, many challenges along with the explanation is provided. Try to write uh, at least six to seven challenges. Okay. And try to explain that challenge in around the five to six slides so that you would be getting marks. Okay. So last question of this uh, session that is 10B. Why do some business plans fail? Okay. So we execute some of the business plans. And uh, when we go to the during the path of execution, at some point of time, our plan fails. Okay, so why do that plan fails? What and all are the critical things which should, we should be remembering in order to execute our plan in the right direction so that it won't fail? All of them you can explain it or whatever you know you can explain it. Okay, in this are provided here, a business plan is essential for guiding a business towards success. However, many business plans fail due to several common reasons that entrepreneurs overlook. Here are some of the key factors contributing to a business plan failure. Okay. Failure of business plan. Some of the key contributions are failure to address the customer problems and need. This is one lack of uh, failed thing. Lack of professionalism. Yeah, this is one more thing. Lack of expertise and uh, uh, sorry, lack of experience of the promoters. Lack of commitment to the business by the promoters. Okay. This is a huge uh, misfit. Unrealistic uh, goals uh, set by the promoter, promoters. Okay. The goals should be realistic and it should be achievable. Okay. If some of the goals, some business plans set the goals which are unrealistic and uh, unimaginable. Okay. Those goals, the goals which he said that it should be in our uh, area, it should be in our, uh, how to say, playground. So we could be uh, achieving those goals. Okay. It should, we should not be thinking high five. So start from the scratch and try to uh, achieve a smaller goal set first. Okay, then try to think big. Next is poor financial planning and management. Okay. So we have one more question here. Distinguish between a PERT and CEM. Okay. Again, we should be writing the differences uh, along with the points. Okay. Features and with that feature, you should be differentiating with between PERT and CPM. PERT stands for program evaluation and uh, Review technique and CPM stands for critical path method. Uh, under time, it is probabilistic, uses op optimistic, pessimistic, and more likely time estimates. Under CPM, it is deterministic, focus, time oriented, emphasizing project completion probability, cost oriented, focusing on optimizing project cost, applications, examples. You can uh, note this down the differences and advantages and limitations of uh, PERT and CPM. Okay. So in this question, it's not mentioned. Uh, so again, if you want, you can note it down some of the advantages and limitations if you want it. Yeah. So that's all for this video, guys. So we have tried to cover uh, all the five modules, model paper solutions. Okay. Without using any AI tools, we have tried to cover it manually by uh, referring other, uh, other uh, materials. And uh, just to arrange this in a correct manner, we have used the AI tools just to, to arrange these answers. Okay. So yeah, you can uh, refer these answers without any risks and all. These answers are purely uh, from the materials which we have uh, searched it. So please uh, go through these answers carefully. I try to provide these answers in a neat manner. This PDF would be available in the description. Not uh, if you check it now, it won't be available. It would be available after some time because uh, in order to convert it uh, to the this PDF into link, then it's a huge task. So 
uh, this would be providing we will be providing this uh, link within tonight or uh, tomorrow morning so please stay tuned for that again if you want to learn now pause these videos and uh, take the screenshots and learn it so all the best to all the students the exams are approaching near please learn don't carry any backlogs with you because if uh, within seven semester all the backlogs must be cleared so that's why don't try to carry any backlogs this is the fifth semester we are approaching nearly towards the seven last year so you should be focusing now only two years left focus well and we all would be growing to a uh, huge milestones in the future okay all the best from my side study well uh, watch our video share this channel to a huge number and like share subscribe to our channel okay thank you